Hello everyone, welcome to our 30 day challenge of learning Tableau from scratch and it's day 13 today. So before we begin, I wish you all a very happy and a prosperous Diwali. May God bless you with everything that you need. And in today's video, what are we going to do is we are going to uh, cover the important topics that are needed uh, you know, for preparing for your interview. These are like mandatory things that we should be definitely knowing, you know, if we are aspiring to attend interviews. And uh, so, and since it is also a Sunday, I wanted to revise all that we have covered in our previous you know, videos so that, you know, we stay in touch. So that's the agenda that, I'm. Uh, that's the, you know, what you call pattern I'm following. Last Sunday, if you remember, we have covered important questions from the topics that were covered in that week. So this week, I'm going to continue to that. And uh, so if you remember from the starting, what are we going to, what are important things that we know, need to know? The first thing is, uh, you know, what are the different products that we need to know from Tableau? These are very, very, very essential. So you need to know the use cases of each product. How are you going to leverage this products to answer different use cases of your clients or end users when this will come into picture or when this can be you know used as a solution be it your tableau public be it your tableau cloud or be it your tableau server or you know be it your tableau reader or you know tableau prep and all so this the uses of this it is very essential for us to know. So that's why I would encourage all of you to try and use these products at least once so that you are aware of the interface, you are aware of what it has and what it not. Okay. So especially I would like you guys to focus on Tableau public register yourself there and start creating dashboards. That's the first thing that we can do. Download Tableau reader and see how the interface looks like what are the features we got and all so this is very important and uh, tableau prep okay so try to explore this product also this is something that would that i would encourage all of you to download and see and use that product okay so next versioning is very important in terms of tableau upgradation and all because we do want to stay in touch with what is latest in the market and what is not so that we are aware of what tableau is bringing in the market and what we have in the current thing so that whenever we are trying to provide a solution to a requirement from the client we can try to leverage the new versions or new concepts or new functionalities that tableau has introduced okay so from that perspective and from learning curve perspective also understanding and knowing the versions that are available in tableau are very 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 important so i'll just mark this as a star wherever i feel it is important and this is also very important a lot of times when i ask in interview like you know what is the version you are using and what is the latest version available in the market many you know tend to give me incorrect answer so i want you to guys remember that about that next is uh, a very generic question that is, that is expected that we all know that is what is the repository and you know how uh, that helps tableau in knowing things where is that located? What are the different folders we have in that? That is something that everyone of us should know. Okay, so that is a repository. Next is, this is very basic. What are the different uh, components of a Tableau workbook? We have worksheet, we have dashboard, and we have story point. Worksheet is the primary unit of a workbook where you have access to your database where you can connect it to your tables and you can create your views. Whereas dashboard is a collection of worksheets, like I said, which represents a story. And story is like in our PowerPoint. So to be, to make it a very generalized statement, it looks like your PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So it can either hold one worksheet or it can hold only one dashboard. So this is something that we need to know. Uh, remember whenever we are using this. 
okay now next is like we have spent some time in preparing our data like what are the different options we have got there what are the different data types available in tableau how we can you know rename field how we can ally add aliases to the field how we can hide all of that are important for us from a day to day you know working in tableau perspective okay so i'll let me uh, write it down that so i'll write it as a data types aliases hide and hide okay and uh, renaming and uh, yeah and uh, splitting and pivoting this is something that we have at data preparation layer and uh, this is something that you guys need to know whenever you are preparing for any certification perspective or interview perspective so what are the different data types available in tableau i think there is this we have already seen okay very important for us and how can you change data type of fields this also we have seen what are the different operations we can perform i think all of that i have tried to you know add it here itself now next uh, after this is the possible question that you can expect is uh, the different join types available in tableau okay so so we have three to four concepts here so i think all of that i have covered here so joins i would you know encourage you guys to write at least two queries on each join type on two different data sets at least okay so that you are aware of the output for each data each join type that you are getting okay so every join like say left join right join outer join inner join okay how will it impact my results what would be ideal join condition for me what are the fields or conditions that are required whenever we are trying to make a join and all so try to do it at a tableau level try to do it at a query level so that you can understand you know the difference between them next after this few more important concepts here union and union all and this is specific to uh, what you call SQL in Tableau. It is you can see if union all is available or only union is available. Try to merge two files and you know see what is the result we are getting. That way you will try to understand whether it is a union or union all. And then blending concepts. Okay, and how the data is coming when we are using single field multiple field and when do we get a star mark and all these are something that are important from joins perspective in tableau okay next we have seen how we can connect to tableau and that we have seen different options in there okay and here what the questions you can expect is what is live and extract and what is incremental refresh and uh, properties we have in that this is something that is important for us okay so after that what we did if you remember we went on to data source layer here if i take you back okay let me remove all of this okay and uh, so this is our data preparation layer after this we went into tableau and here we try to explore different shelves here each Every day we did one one shelf, one day marks shelf, one day filter shelf, one day page shelf and all. So from this perspective, we need to be aware of especially what is filter shelf. You can definitely expect at least one, two questions on this. Okay. And uh, in this, 
what are the different types of filters available in Tableau, okay? And then how you can effectively use it. So you can expect at least one or two questions on this. So we have a data source filter. We have normal filter. We have a, what you call sharing filter or user filter. We have context filter. We have cascading filter. And uh, what else we got? Again, sharing filter that can be done in three ways. And then you, we can filter from the view as well, okay? So this is something that is important for us to remember. And I understand the difference, I think in detail we have covered in this topic. So try to frame a query for each of the filter type that you are trying to write and try to understand what is the type of a SQL that is getting generated. That way you will be able to relate, you know, the SQL and the data that is coming in Tableau. Okay, so this is something that is very important. And next we have explored about, explored about marks shelf and page shelf we have done. So marks shelf is very important in terms of real time usage, like your day to day activity in Tableau. So from that perspective, marks shelf is very important. You need to know what are the different options we have got in here when we can use color options, size option, text option, detail and tooltip. All of these are very, very, very important. So when will you use color? When will you use size? When will you use a text option and all? Okay. So based on the project requirement, based on how you want your visualizations to be, you can leverage the different options we got here. So that from that perspective, mark shelf is very, very important. In terms of interview questions, I think we might not get much, but it is very important here. Okay. So, and then we, after this, we started exploring about charts and in charts, uh, first we explored different types of bar charts especially we have seen some basic to advanced charts here so i want you guys to remember at least advanced charts that we can try to create so that you can talk about them in you know interview like what are the charts that you have created and all they are very important from that perspective and if you observe they are not available in showman okay and while doing so we have learned how we can use the concept of dual access it is very important okay so you need to know difference between dual access versus blended access i think i have shown you the difference here okay so dual access means two accesses for each of your measure and then we will use dual access concept to merge them and then we synchronize them whereas blended access is again you know on a single axis that we are trying to blend two different measures okay so that it is very important okay after this we have explored a little formatting options we have seen how we can eliminate unnecessary you know things that are available or repetitive things that are available that is you know not beautifying the dashboard that we are creating so that is very important from real time usage formatting is important in terms of real time working because day in and day out we will be creating charts or we will be writing calculations and all and we will be trying to you know beautify the dashboards we have so from that perspective formatting is very important the more you know the better it is the and more time saving it is okay so try to practice different things here uh, all that we are saying in the class, how we can remove grid lines, how we can add borders, how we can, you know, place the things and all. And, and then we created, you know, maybe first a dashboard. So I would encourage all of you to start creating a dashboard, at least create two dashboards. So we have created one uh, after we finished the basic concepts. That was very simple one, just exploring different concepts that we have at worksheet level. And then we created 
uh, another dashboard using all the worksheets that we have created during this learning. Okay, so like all the bar charts that we have created, I tried to place them in one worksheet and you can see, you know, what is the option that we have used. Okay, so as of now, what option we used. Okay, later on, maybe next this week, we will see how we can create a dashboard in a different way. Okay, so yeah, I think from for now, these are the topics that we need to focus on and learn about this. You, know, you can learn in detail from Tableau uh, online help also. I'll try to place that link in the description box. Do not forget about that. And uh, that's it from my side for today's video. I wish you all a happy Diwali once again. Stay tuned and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and have a good day.